Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you my experience using the best noise cancelling headphones I've had the opportunity to check out. They're called the Quiet Comfort 35 or the QC35 for short by Bose. Um, I want to say thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out these headphones. But by far, I have not had the opportunity to just basically use a pair of headphones where I put them on and by just turning them on, I turn off the rest of the world. This is TK. Let's check them out. The box is very simple, acoustic noise cancelling, and by far Bose wrote the book as far as it comes to noise cancelling. Uh, this is the 35 model, they used to have the 25, these are Bluetooth, they're wired and wireless and I'll explain to you what that means, but they have active noise cancelling and the ability to have controls all within the actual earpiece. Now it says iPod, iPhone and iPad, but it also compatible with Android, of course with anything connected to Bluetooth or a 3.5mm headphone jack. We have powerful sound, wire free if we want to use the Bluetooth, world class noise cancellation, again and they wrote the book on this. Uh, quick pairing, you use NFC for your Android devices, enable uh, enhanced headphones with Bose Connect app, so you can definitely use the application. I'll show that to you guys. Noise rejection mic for calls, and you get better audio quality when you're listening or using these headphones for calls, as they do have microphones. Up to 20 hours per charge, and this is true on wireless. This is not wired. Wired, you can go up to 40 even, because you're not even using the actual noise canceling functionality at this point. So definitely a very nice pair of headphones, and they even come with an own case. So let's go ahead and open it up. I always appreciate a pair of headphones that come in a case because 90% of us will always be carrying these with us and we want to use them when we need them, but we don't want to keep them sitting everywhere, getting scratched, getting bumped. Definitely very nice case. You have a little bit of a pocket back here for wires and it does have a little bit of a hook up top. It is zipper controlled, so you go ahead and zip it up and unzip it. Here are the Quiet Comforts 35. They're housed, they're actually very nice. They're basically just meant to be this way. Um, we do have an airplane adapter in case you need it and it will be always kept here. They include a couple of cables, one for charging, which is a micro USB to USB type A, and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, male to male, so that you can use these headphones without having to use battery as much as you would use it on wireless. So if you wanna connect these to your, uh, to your phone and you have a smaller plug here that goes directly into the earpiece and the other one goes into your phone, uh, you'll be able to basically just use these and enjoy them for even longer periods of time. Here are the headphones. Uh, they look very nice. Again, this is the stowed position. They do come up and they sit up very nicely. Uh, there is nice foam on top to be able to help you protect it. Uh, very, very durable, very, you know, expandable here. Uh, we have a, a right and left, and they're actually marked right here. You can see there's an L inside telling you that this is the left ear, the right ear, and both ears are slightly indented. You can see that here. It's actually deeper on the inner groove and closer to your ear. This is to have a better positioning for the earpiece, and it just sits straight on your ear without covering it too much. So when you're sitting with these, since these are over the ear, this is going to sit over your ear, and when your ear is housed within it, it doesn't actually protrude and doesn't touch, so it makes it much more comfortable for you to be able to use these for an extended amount of time. The Cups are leather, very nice, very soft. And again, you are able to see right away, this is the right, this is the left. Uh, the controls that we have here are all on the right side. We do have two plugs on the bottom, the three and a half millimeter small micro uh, plug at the bottom on the left here, and then a micro USB on the right to be able to use this to charge. Uh, we do have an NFC tag housed right here. We have a pair of microphones over here. And of course we have an additional one over here. This is for voice conversations. Um, on the right, we have another one right there. Turning on in the middle turns on the speaker. There is an audible feedback right away telling you A, the battery percentage, which you'll notice right there. There's two little LEDs. Uh, the green one is for battery, the top one is for Bluetooth. Once it connects to your phone, it'll actually say the name of the phone itself. So you're able to name your phone on the actual app um, and you can manage that. I'll show you guys. Uh, controls are basically play and pause. Uh, volume down, skip back, volume up, skip up, uh, volume up, and then skip forward. They really look very nice. Um, I like the color scheme. It's nice. It's black. Uh, it doesn't hold any fingerprints and it looks really good. Um, as far as comfort, it really, I have, I cannot come close to describing how comfortable these things are. If you've ever tried a pair of Bose headphones before, you'll know exactly what this means um, as they are extremely comfortable, especially for long rides. Now, recently we took a long trip up to San Francisco, San, uh, actually even to Portland, uh, Seattle, and those are like 12, 14 hour drives. Um, I was able to put those on for, for a good amount of time and never Never had a problem. Putting them on without even turning on uh, audio just cancels a lot of noise and it makes it like as if my voice is going to go higher. 
Um, one of the things that's hard to describe or at least show on video is how quiet these things could get. So the way I want to describe it for you guys is I'm going to play some ambient sound and I'm going to tell you how loud it is. Pairing the, uh, the device, you can either use the NFC tag or by switching straight to the right and it'll turn on pairing mode. So I'm going to use my iPhone 7 to generate some ambient sound. This is again not exactly the best situation, but you can hear the sound. It's going to be something that you're going to be experiencing on a daily basis. Let's say you're on a bus, uh, you're on a long ride, a long flight, and you don't want to hear that ambient sound. I'm just experiencing it here. I turned on the quiet comfort, I turned them on, and I'm going to put them on right now. The sound is almost definitely uh, reduced tremendously. Uh, it doesn't kill it entirely. I can kind of hear it, but it stops being something that I have to pay attention to. And I'm sure within the 30 seconds or so, this is just going to disappear. It gets even better when you play music through them. Absolutely just kills the entire sound. Uh, there's no more background sound. There's not even an issue there. Now, turning them off automatically turns it off and I can actually start hearing a little bit more. Active noise cancelling is extremely well done on these pair of headphones. Uh, the audio playback is pretty good. It's decent. Again, I said playback is going to be roughly about 20 hours. At least that's what's advertised. Uh, but in my experience, at least over a week worth of travel, and I've had two long trips where I did at least four to five hours worth of listening on these, um, I haven't actually killed the battery yet. And then every time you turn it on, it tells you what the level of the battery is. Now, there is a companion app. Let's go ahead and check that out. By default, it does turn on right away. You cannot get access the app without necessarily turning on the speaker headphones. So I turned them on. It says QC, TK's QC35. That's what I renamed them to. Um, shows us that we're connected via Bluetooth. It does have a function of being able to do pairing with other uh, Bose headsets. So if you have more than one Bose headset, you can actually tandem pair, which means by daisy chaining them, listening to the same music from the same source using two different headphones. Unfortunately, I'd only have one pair of these and I just couldn't do that example. Gives you the battery level on the uh, on the actual headphones themselves as I just recharged them. The volume on the headphones, not on the device. So we still have the volume rocker here. You'll notice this is my device's volume rocker and this is the headphones volume rocker. Also, it does interface with the last music player that you were using. So for me, I was using Google Play Music, listening to the Shape of You by Gal the Galantis Remix. And it gives me a really good playback and I'm able to control it within the app. Um, I could, of course, just go back and then just turn it on and either go directly to my podcast or directly go into my Google Play Music library. It's going to be an all around really good listening experience and playback on this is extremely well. If you use the built in wire, you're going to be able to use the benefit of uh, the quad DAC or any kind of DAC that you have built into your device. Now, this is the G6. It doesn't have this on the V20. When I was using this, it really sounded very nice as we do have a much better DAC there. Uh, 20 hours roughly with the, the wireless option and if you want to go to the wired you can go up to 40 hours depending on the experience. So I've had these guys for about a couple of weeks now and honestly I've only had to charge them once and the fact is playback on this is really really good. It handles and it's really good as far as the carrying options. You have a case with it. it comes with the wire if you need to use it as wired option or if you want to charge it. So everything you need is really included. Uh, the price point is a little bit on the upper end, but this is a Bose pair of headphones. You're not expecting to get, you know, just a, any kind of pair of headphones for noise canceling. This is going to be the best that you're going to be able to get around the $300 to $350, $350 range as far as pair of headphones. They're very nice. They're available from a lot of retailers. And again, I want to say thanks to Verizon for allowing me to check them out. I'll give you guys a link in the description below if you guys would like to check them out and see what these guys can do. Uh, definitely very nice. If you have a local Best Buy or so on, you can definitely go in there and check them out and check out this the quality of the audio playback on any device. That's the beauty of it. You can connect them to either wired or wireless and still get long battery life, really good playback, amazing noise canceling. Again, thank you very much for the support. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. These are great. I am extremely sad to have to send these guys back to Verizon. But other than that, like and subscribe as usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.